Hello everyone, my name is Sean Kenny with Sean Kenny Films. I'm a luxury wedding filmmaker here in California and I've been filming weddings for over 10 years. And today I wanna to show you how I edit speeches films to make it quick and easy. This is a very painless process. I'm gonna show you some real easy tips to speed up your workflow, make it go 10 times faster. Maybe, maybe not 10 times faster, but Sometimes when you're editing speeches, it can take multiple hours, especially if the speeches go on and on and on. I'm gonna show you a method that it will take 30 minutes, maybe one hour tops, depending on how long the speeches are and how many speeches there are. This is usually the fastest part of my whole editing process for wedding films. So I'm gonna show you what I do from beginning to end. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna synchronize your video clips and your audio clips. You can do that in Premiere, you can do that in Final Cut. I like to use a third party software called Pluralize. It is just, it's super simple, it's super fast. I've been doing it for years and years at this point. So it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you can see I've got my clips already labeled. I've got A cam, B cam, and I've got my audio files right here. And here's Pluralize, pretty simple setup. Open up my A cam footage, that was my camera. Just highlight all these, make sure camera one is selected. Again, this is gonna look different if you're synchronizing in Premiere. If you don't know how to sync in Premiere, I will probably make a video on how to do that. But honestly, I feel like Pluralize is just so fast, so simple. You can see how quickly it starts processing. Camera two, here's my B cam. Click and drag, and then audio. Got introductions and speeches. Always label your files. You'll save yourself a lot of time and headache in the future. If it's speeches, label it speeches. If it's a ceremony audio, label it ceremony audio. So I'm just gonna wait a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for it to process all the media. All right, now the Pluralize has processed all the clips. All I have to do is hit synchronize up here you'll see that it actually processes it pretty quick. Boom, done. It takes less than a few, less than a second. So I don't know if it saves that much more time when you're doing it on Premiere, but I just been doing this for so many years. This way, I like to do it through Pluralize. Export my timeline. I'm gonna select Premiere Pro. And I'm going to label this Sync Speeches. So now let's open up Premiere. Grab our Sync Speeches. All right, so I brought in all my clips and my audio that I've synced up in Pluralize and I put them on my timeline. So the first thing I like to do, I like to just make things kind of neat and tidy. You can see about a lot of space where I was recording audio, but there's no video. So easiest thing to do, just make some cut marks, delete, and then delete that space. This, I remember this was the grand entrance, so it's not that speeches. All right, and then I wanna get rid of the camera audio as well. You can right click, you hit delete tracks, and you can hit delete audio tracks, all empty tracks. And then just brings up everything really quickly and easily. So the secret to editing your wedding speeches super fast is you always make sure they have one camera on the speaker and one camera on the couple. And that way you just cut back to the couple anytime they have uh, an emotional reaction to whatever it is that the speaker is saying. So if the speaker is saying something really emotional, then the couple is gonna react in that way. So the bride might like brush a tear away from her eyes or they might like make a sad face or whatever, they might start crying, whatever. Then you know that, oh, whatever that speaker said, that got a great reaction from them. And so you just cut back to that. Or if the speaker said something funny, they have a funny story, you know, anecdote about growing up together, whatever it is, and then the couple laughs, you know that that's a great spot to cut back to. And you don't actually have to listen to what they're saying. You're just looking, scrubbing through the footage to see the couple reacting each time. 
And I'll show you what I mean. So you can see I've got one camera on the speaker and one camera on the couple. So you're just gonna grab your timeline, the head of the timeline, and you're just gonna look for these reactions from the couple. You can see them reacting, they're smiling, happy, laughing. So right there, that got some type of reaction. So I'm just gonna back up just a little bit. This is the bride's sister. So I just give that a few seconds, cut. So she said something that's funny, you got a great reaction, and then you cut back. Boom, real easy. I don't actually have to listen to everything. I'm just gonna scrub through, just gonna grab the head, you can see, you're looking for those reactions, so you see, yeah, see, that's a good reaction. So, just place a cut there. Just get a few seconds of it. So you can go play it back. She said something funny, got a great reaction, cut back. Real easy. And you're just gonna do that the entire time. You're just gonna grab your scrubber and you're just gonna scrub through looking for the couple's reactions and then just make cuts right there. You don't actually have to listen to every single speech. I mean, you did already listen to all the speeches when you were filming the wedding. So you're gonna scrub, scrub, scrub. But here's another great reaction from the bride. So you can see that the bride sister said something really emotional. So I'm gonna go right there, cut. That's a great reaction. And you're just gonna keep doing that through all the speeches, looking for these emotional reactions. See, that would be a great cut too. I would avoid, avoid any time the bride is like rubbing her nose. Typically brides don't want to see that. So you're just gonna scrub, scrub, scrub. That's another one. She, like, groom is rubbing his eyes. She's batting her eyes. These are all just great reactions that you're scrubbing through to look for, and you're gonna make those cuts. And here you can see that at some point, I didn't have a great reaction. I didn't have a great uh, angle of the speaker. I was only getting the side profile, but I always like to get the speakers more front on. So I was communicating to my second shooter switch to the speaker so that I'll shoot to the couple and then you switch to the speaker. That way I can get that nice front on or at least a three quarters shot of the speaker and then the other camera gets the couple. Here's another example. This is the groom's dad. But yeah, you're just gonna scrub right there. That's a good reaction. You would cut, you just cut that. So now, when you play back the speeches, you've got the groom's father saying a funny story, cut to their reaction, ha 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 ha, uh, and you go back to the father. Super fast, super easy. You just grab it and scrub, and you can just go back and forth and cut as many reactions as you want. Sometimes the couple may not have a lot of reactions, but you might want to just cut back and forth anyways, just to break it up the monotony a little bit. So yeah, so I think you can see how easy it is. All you have to do is just scrub through the timeline, just making sure that you've got a great shot of the couple and you're just cutting to their reactions. Now you might be thinking like, if I'm not listening to any of these speeches, how can I use part of the speeches like an emotional story that they might have for my wedding film? And I have a solution for that too, because when you're editing, you'll see all the little parts where you cut to an emotional point or you cut to something that was like really funny. So you know where all those points are. So if there's like a joke or a story where someone starts crying, you can see where all those cuts are because you know that you cut to the couple every time there was a great reaction. So you know where all those great reactions already are. So you just go to those points and then you can listen to that point and say, oh, father of the bride had a great emotional story about the, his daughter, so on and so on. 
But again, you don't have to listen to all 30 minutes, all 40 minutes or more sometimes of these speeches. You can just look for all the cuts that you made of the great reactions. So I hope you found this quick tip very helpful. Like I said, this saves me a lot of time. I can usually get through all the editing of the speeches in maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour at most. And then I'm on to the ceremony. And then once I have that edited, then I start on the highlight film. And I can usually get all my editing done if I'm lucky. Maybe one day, two days is really all, the most time I need is just two days and I can get everything done. So I'm gonna make some future videos of how to edit those as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, and if this was helpful to you, please drop a comment down below. And also go ahead and hit subscribe because I wanna upload more content to help you guys out. Uh, giving you some advice on how to film weddings, getting into the luxury market. And lastly, I am going to be offering live wedding film critiques. So if you have a wedding film that you'd like me to watch, give you some advice, whether it's editing or shooting techniques or music, whatever it is, email me at sean at seankennyfilms.com. Send me a link to one of your wedding films and I'd love to review it with you. Once again, thank you so much everyone for watching.